This is my battery mount. And to get the battery to fit, the screw needs to go into this top hole I have here. And I can't use this one, so I'm going to have to drill some more holes. Because I need to find out how to mount it to here, I'm hoping I can use these mounting points here. So to get to this mount, I need to take these screws out. Now I can access this plate. But to get the exact location, I'm going to leave it there. Take it to the bike. Just check. Check it locks. Now I'm happy with that position. I've just got a pencil. Try and draw. Take this off. At the same time, I'm holding this metal butt still. And now I can draw in the position of my new bolts. Halfway marks. So, line up. Got some of these rib nuts to seat in the hole and grip it so we should be able to screw some more mounting points in for the battery holder. We're going to drill up to a 7mm hole here. We'll start off with the smallest drill bit I have to drill a pilot hole and then we'll work up to 7mm. This is uh, scary stuff drilling into the frame. After drilling the pilot hole, I've put the battery mount back on, so it looks good. It's probably slightly to the left, but it depends on the camera. So I think we're set, we're good to go. Here we go, uh, I'm going to drill hole number two. This time I've stepped up to a 3mm drill bit, so I've gone from 1.5 to 3. Uh, <laughs> I'm quite scared about getting this wrong, so... I'm going to take it up in small increments. Yes! I'm going to go for our third hole. I'm going to go from three to a five mil drill bit and uh, hope for the best. Six mil drill bit. Wow, cuts through nicely with a big drill bit. One more hole to go. Okay, this should be the last hole. Seven mil drill bit. Let's go. They about drilled through me uh, brake cable, innit? Here's the rivet nut. Goes in. <laughs> well, I think that was a success. I don't actually have a rivet nut tool, and I tried doing some tests just using a bolt and a washer to try and pull it up with like a nut, but it 
wasn't very successful. Um, it just ended up spinning and coming off the bolt. Um, I'm either going to have to think of something different or just buy a rib nut tool. So this is the rib nut tool I picked up. I think it was for 11 pounds, 11 quid on eBay. This is a rib nut and it will basically squish against the sheet metal that you have here. So it looks like this. And the sheet metal will sit in that. And then it's got threaded insert. The main thing is, is this has got to seat nice and flat. So it can bind all the way around. You just slowly do it up until you feel it bite against the frame. So it feels like it's seating more, it's wobbling less. You keep doing it up until it binds. Just so gonna do it up a little bit tighter. I don't want it to pull up against the brake line. I need to put it over the brake line. Through there. I don't know if you can see that, two newton meters. So, whilst I have a torque wrench, we can just do some quick loose connections to just to see if it all works basically. This is the main wiring loom that takes it to the handlebars for the display, brake sensors, and the throttle. Flick on the on switch. And I think there's a power button here. 
Wow. There it is. And then I guess we'll try the throttle. Jesus. Jesus. So to fit the brakes, I wanted to wait till the battery's installed um, so I can use the display to see if the brakes register when I install them. So I'd like to put the brake sensor part here so that it's flush about there. Magnet would have to go on the lever there, and that doesn't register. It needs to be closer. I see there's a gap, but that's too far away from the magnet. It's going to have to be like that. How to find a way to fill that gap in? These brake sensors, the sensors themselves have their own sticky back and the magnets come with four squares and I only need two for each side so I can use the other two squares to pad out the gap that's created in my brakes. as good as it's going to get. Let's just do it. Oh, I need to take this one off too. Oh, it's working now. Pull the brake, brake light comes on. <laughs> 